The current maximum memory card usable with the GoPro is 64GB, which can be filled rather rapidly should you choose to shoot in higher resolutions. Those who have no easy access to a computer in order to transfer video to another device may find themselves somewhat limited or end up carrying several tiny memory cards hoping not to lose them. Welcome to IFTIS Tech Corner where today we'll be looking at transferring content from your GoPro to a USB hard disk drive without using a computer in between. So we have a GoPro camera and we have a USB hard disk drive, but we know we can't actually connect both directly in order to transfer video from the GoPro to the drive. There will be other methods to do this, but in this example I'll be using a smartphone, whether it's an iPhone or Android based device, along with one of these, a Kingston Mobile Lite Wireless G2. We've already taken a closer look at the Kingston Mobile Lite in a previous video. I'll leave a link at the end of this guide in case you missed it, but at the cost of a standard micro SD card, it's a very useful piece of kit to carry with you. So we have our source, the GoPro, our destination, the hard disk drive, using a Kingston Mobile Lite, controlled by a smartphone in between. Let's get started. Begin by switching off the camera, removing the side door, and then ejecting the micro SD card. Insert the micro SD card into a standard SD card adapter supplied in the box alongside the Kingston Mobile Lite, and then insert this into the side of the Mobile Lite device itself, along with the USB connector from the destination hard disk drive into the USB port on the side of the Mobile Lite. We are now ready to switch the Mobile Lite on, and begin transferring our photo or video files. From this point, transferring your data is a relatively straightforward affair. Ensure that the Mobile Lite app, available on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, is installed on your device. Next, enter the wireless settings and connect to the Kingston Mobile Lite G2. Once connected, proceed to open the Mobile Lite app. On the main page, we see both the hard disk drive and the SD card available, and we are able to browse into the SD card and view any images or video clips with ease with perfectly smooth playback. We can then select all video and images we would like to move across. Once you have selected your chosen files, simply hit the folder icon at the bottom of the screen and select the USB drive as the destination. At this point we can begin the copy process by tapping the appropriate link at the bottom or create a new folder beforehand to keep everything nice and organised after which we can enter the folder and hit the copy now link to begin copying the files across. A bar at the bottom indicates the copy progress. And that's all there is to it. I can now head back to the main menu and we'll see the folder we just created holding the files we just copied across. Note that the most common formats are supported, although this drive is formatted in XFAT, which makes it compatible with both Windows and Mac. Nevertheless, by connecting the drive to a computer and opening the contents, we can clearly see the content has successfully copied across at its full original size and at full resolution. Being small and light enough to easily carry around with you, while costing around the same as a typical 32GB micro SD card, the Kingston Mobile Lite G2 is a fantastic addition to your GoPro setup. Whether you are out on the field or on holiday with no access to a computer, not only can the device be used to browse and view images directly onto your smartphone or tablet at full HD resolution, it can also be used to copy the card contents across to higher capacity drives, meaning it is no longer necessary to carry a laptop computer around with you in case you fill up your memory card. If that wasn't enough already, an added feature of the Kingston Mobile Lite G2 comes in the form of a built-in 4640mAh battery, providing the ability to connect the GoPro camera directly to the Mobile Lite G2 in order to charge the typical GoPro battery from empty around three and a half times. A truly versatile solution to complement your GoPro, with the portability required for those who are always on the go and wish to continue to travel light. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Alternatively, feel free to check out the other GoPro videos in my channel by clicking above or in the description box below. 
Remember to subscribe as there are plenty more GoPro videos and tutorials coming shortly. See you next time in Ifty's Tech Corner.